Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel, PNJ's Homestead Adventure. Jason and I are part of a garden tour club hosted by Gail at Gail's Southern Living. Gail's collaboration is running through March through August, and she has monthly giveaways that you can enter yourself in just by simply leaving comments on all the videos in the playlist. Gail's link will be in our description. Picking more veggies. Poopy squash. This is the time you make decisions. I also have another one growing right here. Not the same vine, but on the same vine, I have another small one here. There you go. You know what? I want to send all the energy to that one. Less is more. So I'm going to trim this right there. The energy is going to go just to that hobby now. Not this huge, not this huge vine. Sometimes you just have to say no. Don't be afraid to trim. Beans are climbing. Should see some flowers soon. You may hear some noise in the background, but you know, chores must go on. This is lemon balm. This is a baby of my plant, which I'm digging up for Lynn. Look at that, Lynn. There's your lemon balm at the Simple Alaskans. And this is Lynn and Daryl's chive plant going to Alaska. You may say, Paula, why haven't you weeded this part of the garden? Oh no, these are all babies. There's, yes, there's a couple weeds in there, but these are all lemon balm and chives. Yay. Boy, do I have to pick more rhubarb. I have so much rhubarb. I have like nine bags already and it just keeps growing. Oh, day lilies are blooming again. Thank you so much. Yay. More beauty for the bees. Let's talk about weeds. I don't really have any because I use that vinegar weed killer. We made a video of it. I'll link it at the end. And I did all the walkways with this vinegar. Oh, look it. There's one. There, there's a weed. It may, it may take me a few minutes to weed. I'm telling you, it really works, guys. Look at that. I mean, okay, I mean, yeah, I'm, I'm a lazy gardener. I don't want to pick weeds. I really don't. I just want to enjoy the garden. We picked all of our radishes, and they were delicious. Jason said they were just on point, and we did those icicle ones. And it's time to plant more carrots because we already put those in the freezer. And I have a couple ones still straggling along. But this barrel is going to be another set of fall crop, and I'm going to put more carrots in it. And those will be for meals later, too. Just look at this crop of tomatoes, guys. And if you've been following along with us for the last, you know, March, April, May, June, July, and now here in August, you've really been able to see the garden grow. And I really appreciate you being here. Whew, so many. These were the tomatoes that Jennifer sent me from Northern Girl Hobbies. And these are called Mortgage Lifter Tomatoes. And I believe she said it was her favorite tomato. So I'm really thankful she shared some seeds with us. And right now they are the tallest in the garden. Right up to that third rope. Looking forward to trying these. Thanks, Jen. People always ask me how much money am I spending on the garden per year? To maintain these mounds. I don't spend money on my garden every year. Jason and I may buy more seeds or maybe want to try something new, but these mounds have enough nutrition in them and the things that are in there, like the coconut core, that is all going to take up to two and a half to three years to break down. So I haven't added anything to these mounds in two years right now. And none of these plants are unhappy. Saving money. 
I'm so excited to start picking tomatoes. Turn red, turn red. Eee. Pasta sauce, salsas, here we come. Look at all the airflow. No leaves on the bottom of the plant. You can see right through there. Look at those. Again, I have added nothing to this mound, right? Nothing. There's layers of manure, coconut core, my own soil here. I have not added any fertilizer this year, and they're just going strong. So let's talk about tomatoes. Again, we're growing tomatoes. We're not growing leaves. So the very bottom of the tomato plants I have taken off all the leaves, so it's sending all the energy to the tomatoes. And we're getting more flowers. As many of your gardens out there are starting to end, mine is just exploding here in New York State. So here we go, we're gonna be starting to can soon because we're actually starting to get a red tomato, yay. I'm using this rope system to hold them straight up so they can grow straight up. Love the rope system. See what you do? Love the rope system. They grow nice and straight and I don't have to worry about anybody falling over, breaking during a windstorm, as you have seen in our other videos. <laughs> Easy peasy, growing tomatoes, not leaves. Trim them all back, that's what I say. Plus when you're trimming all these leaves, you're getting rid of where moisture can be held. Moisture and shade brings bugs. I don't want bugs. I just wanna to grow tomatoes. I do the same thing with the peppers. Get rid of all those leaves on the bottom and allow airflow. Look how big they are. Oh my goodness. And look how tall they are. Yay. Peppers are almost up to my shoulder again. Yay. Look what I see. Scotch bonnet peppers. Look at Jen, buttercup squash. The cantaloupe is dying back. The rest of the energy is going into ripening this beautiful cantaloupe. We're gonna be eating fruit this week and I'm gonna freeze some for later, for like a smoothie or something. That's how you know your cantaloupe is almost ready. Corn has tassels. Don't forget to shake your corn. You want to ensure pollination on your little cob. Yay. This is a male squash flower. It is called a stamen. This is a female squash flower. You can easily tell the difference. The female has a little squash. I simply take the stamen and put it on the stigma to ensure pollination. You can even close up the flower and leave it in there. Gourd. I have pollinated all these gourds and squashes just to ensure that I'm definitely going to get a harvest. This is a gourd female flower. This is a male gourd flower. I'm going to do the same thing. And more gourds. 
and more. And still so many more. Do you remember this gourd from four days ago? Look how much it grew. And this one too. We are gone three days and the zucchini is huge. Look how fast they grow. Our first zucchini, there's three I believe that can be picked. Yay, the rosemary. Next week I'm gonna start trimming her and dehydrating some. I feel like she's big enough now where I can start stealing some from her. <laughs> and the sage too. So much sage. Jason and I went away for three days. There was no asparagus left in this bed because we ate it all. And look how far it has grown in three days. Time to get picking. Best accomplishment this year is the mesh covering the eggplant. No flea bugs this year. Our pumpkins are changing color. Honeydew. Look at all the seeds and the sunflowers. The birds are gonna love these. And I'll save some for seeds for next year. I'm so happy that last year we had a huge crop of grapes. Jason and I just recently milled some grapes from last year's garden for more jelly. This year, we do not have a good crop of grapes, just enough for fresh eating. We had an early spring and then immediately went right back into winter weather of 29 degrees and all those beautiful grape flowers died. We've been busy making birdhouses. Hopefully, somebody will move in soon. Now, what I'm about to say, many of you may not agree with me. And that's okay. Because gardening is all about what works best for you. So, in saying that, I'm going to say this. Everything you see in this wheelbarrow does not go back into my garden. It goes to the compost pile. Where then it breaks down. When I used to allow things to break down in place in the garden. I was introducing bugs, bug eggs, a place for a bug to enjoy laying their eggs. I don't allow them to have a habitat in my garden to stick around. And every three years when I add more compost to the mounds, instead of me adding rotted materials, I'm adding beautiful soil that now has worms and so much nutrition. Time to pick some blackberries. Dehydrating more chives and rosemary and basil. We hope our tips and tricks work for you. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching our August Garden Tour Club video. Jason and I are planning our next live stream. And in that live stream, we're gonna be giving away a birdhouse and a few other things. Hope you stop by and say hi. Keep an eye out for a community post from Jason and I on the date and time of our next live stream. Hope to see you there.